Hi everybody, I will show you how to use MadMapper Artificial Intelligence to generate your own Surface 2D ethics within MadMapper in a very easy way. So I just loaded an, an image here that I'm going to drop in my stage. It's making a quad with an image on it. And if I switch to the AI code editor here, I can click the plus button and create a new Surface 2D FX that I'm going to call it uh, AI and I want to make a VHS video effect like in the old days. And here in the prompt section, let me switch to high quality. In the prompt section, I want to make a VHS effect. Very simple. I just leave everything else like it is. Click the send button. So my mapper is sending the request to our server and they will process this request and send us back the shader code needed to make the effect. Anytime I can switch to the code section here and see what's going on uh, with the code and uh, what uh, MadMapper generated. So this is the, the standard template and when it will finish the generation, it will simply update the code. Let's wait a bit and here you can see it made the effect and of course it's not uh, applied to the surface so if I type AI you can see here I have my AI VHS effect oh and here it's apply and it generated the parameters automatically let me just uh, call me down uh, the bleeding uh, the amount the error tracking like this like this Okay, and it made some kind of a VHS effect. Ooh, super cool. And now let's imagine that I want to add another parameter or something else to my effect. I can just type it here and iteratively MadMapper will add what I want. So I want to add um, invert colors option. That's what I want. And I send it to MadMapper. Every time I click the send button, this is using one credit on my credit account. So it's very easy to understand. And here I have the history of all the modifications I've added MadMapper to, to do on my effect. Let's just wait for the server to process the request and send us back the code. Of course, meanwhile, I can still play uh, with the parameters very easily and I can see here that it's added uh, the color invert option oh and it's working and again thanks for watching